Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to uh, fix some DNS server problems. Um, I had a few problems with my um, computer not connecting to the internet properly and I found a few fixes and hopefully uh, one of the methods that I show you here will help uh, and fix your internet or your connection to the internet with your computer. So, uh, the first method we're going to do is resetting some um, some stuff like our IP and WinSock so you need to click here type CMD and you right click on the CMD here and run as administrator and you need to do that because it um, requires some permissions that uh, you won't be able to do unless you have the uh, administrator so um, in here then you want to type net sh int ip reset c dot backslash reset uh, log dot txt so net sh stands for network shell int internal ip internet protocol and reset so this basically resets your ip address then you press enter and it'll say resetting global okay resetting interface okay restart the computer to complete this action so obviously you need to restart the computer for this to take effect um, but don't restart your computer yet because there's another thing we're going to have to reset so then next you want to type net sh uh, winsock and reset so this is net shell again uh, winsock is a thing they offer god's sake you need to reset winsock as well so when you press enter it'll also say successfully reset the winsock catalog um, once you restart your computer then that'll work as well so the last thing we're going to do is flush dns um, so you need to type ip config uh, i said that wrong ip config space forward slash flush dns enter so they successfully flushed the dns resolver cache so um make sure when you're typing this in that you've like a backslash the colon in the right place and all the letters are lowercase if you have the wrong kind of stuff like that uh, it'll just feck up so yeah if, if you get some error here just make sure you typed everything in properly so that's the first method done uh, hopefully this should work after you restart your computer but if this doesn't work um, then try uh, try shutting down your computer and unplugging it and unplugging your modem and router at the same time and leave them both unplugged for like five minutes and plug them back in and then hopefully it should work then if that doesn't work then there's another thing you can do where uh, so type or click on start again and type in here ncpa.cpl and press enter and then it'll bring you to network connections folder or not folder whatever and then uh, you'll have your wireless network connection or whatever here this is my one so then you right click on this and go to or right click on this go to properties we'll bring you here internet protocol version 4 that's your ipv4 address click on that click properties so now you've got this window here and um, you can um, if you want to use the following IP address you can you can click here and go to the CMD again and type IP config and then you'll see default gateway here IPv4 address here and then you can just subnet mask there you can just fill all that in um, I don't need to do that because that wasn't a problem with my internet. Then also you have, it, this should normally be clicked. So then you click this, use the following DNS server addresses. So I have some here that uh, you can use. Um, the first one is 20867 space 222222 for the preferred DNS server. And then for the alternate one it's 20867 space 220220. Um, so that's the first one. Uh, or there's one that Google has uh, that's Google's preferred DNS address is uh, 8888 for the preferred one and 8844 so uh, yeah I don't need to use them but you could try that and click OK and hopefully that will work for you and um, if none of this worked uh, you might have like a security issue and the DNS server might not be working because of like a virus or something um, so you want to try uh, disabling your firewalls and then check if it's fixed and also you could um, 
disable the security software like McAfee or Norton or whatever. And um, you could also try starting your computer with uh, in safe mode with networking. And uh, if it works there, then it's probably a problem with Norton. So you can just uninstall Norton, and then when you in, when your internet works again, then you can reinstall it. So um, hopefully this helped. Um, if you uh, found this video helpful, uh, please click the like button. And if you uh, if this didn't work, then tell me in the comments what the problem is, and I might know how to fix it. So thanks for watching, and goodbye.